quick tutorial to uh, show you how you're going to be following through the steps as you travel around the world. The first thing that you're going to be doing is having one of these travel checklists for every country that you're traveling to. This is going to help you stay on track with what you need. So the first thing you've got to decide is which country are you going to travel to? Once you've made that decision, I would probably even type it right here. I'm going to say China. Then I'm going to cross it off. Did I use Google My Maps to figure out how many miles it is to that country from where my current location is? So I would use Google My Maps, find my ruler, and measure from where I'm at to China in this case. I'm going to imagine that I've done that part. Then I'm going to look at my checking account. Do I have enough money to go there? I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to say it's 2,000 miles. I'm just, just going to write something. Do I have enough money to travel there? I'm going to say, yes, I do. Phew, check that off. Did I go see the passport official so that they can deduct it from my checking account and make sure that I'm good to go? I'm going to say, yes. Now I am ready. I am going to use a book or one of the digital resources for China in this case, and look for the assigned culture universal for the continent of Asia, which I believe is material goods, but I'm kind of going from memory. So when you're doing that, you want to look through it, and then you get ready to start working on your digital notebook, which is next. We are going to imagine that I did some research, I learned a little bit about, and I was looking for some material goods, examples of material goods in China. Then I start filling out my digital travel notebook. So I traveled to the continent of, it's on Asia, so I typed that in here. You're gonna have a copy of this that you're gonna staple into your passport. I visited the country of China. The first cultural universal I found was material goods, and the example I said is, noodles you might want to come up with something a little more detailed this shows the cultural universal um, because a material good is something which we own and noodles are a physical item we own until we eat them what i would probably also do is get rid of all of the extra it makes it a little easier the second cultural universal i found was still material goods and the there might be another one to look for so if the continent is looking for another one which i believe it is you would put a different one there um so you know what i'll change it up i'll make it the um uh, let's see i'm gonna say language because that's an easy one for me to remember i don't think these are the right ones the se second cultural universal i found was language and the example is I am going to say Chinese. I know there are a lot of different dialects and I could probably be a lot more specific than that. Uh, but again, I'm not, I haven't actually done the research right now. I'm just kind of speaking off the top of my head for the purpose here. This shows this cultural universal because it is a verbal language which people speak in this country. And again, I would probably get rid of all of this. Yeah. And that's what you would be filling in in your digital travel notebook. What you're going to be doing is creating a souvenir. So on your checklist, you're gonna see that you're creating a souvenir and then you would be putting your souvenir into here. Now there's a couple of ways you could do that. You can do a Google Draw and insert a drawing or you can create an original drawing, a hand drawn item in your passport and then take a photo of it and insert it in here. So I am going to imagine here is my super amazing souvenir. It's so beautiful. The next step is I need to fill this in. Now before I do, I might actually highlight it. See how I've got the whole box highlighted? I'm gonna do Control C and then control V and make another one because I'm gonna to need to fill this out every time I create a souvenir. So this is a sun, I don't know, from China. And it represents uh, material goods. So I've kind of, actually I should have made some noodles, but that's okay. So this is what you're going to look like. Again, I would 
get rid of all the extra stuff, which is why this example is here, so you can kind of use that to help you. So I'm gonna get rid of all the extra stuff that I don't need. Oops. And it's gonna look a lot smaller. I might even shrink down my square so it's not quite as big. And I'm gonna drag it so that it's right beside my souvenir. Or you might even wanna put these kind of around the outside depending on how you choose to decorate your room. Did we create a 100% original souvenir for our country? We did. Is our souvenir in our room? And right now my answer is yes. And did I write the sentence which goes with my souvenir, which was that little square that we created? And the answer is yes. So I have completed and done everything that I need for that one country. Now I'm going to get from the paper place another travel checklist and we'll begin going to begin the process again.